Mrs Verity with the drawing that we've been using for our AutoCAD tutorials for architectural technology, interior design and construction management at Southampton Solent University. This is the house so far. We've got our walls and our windows in place and today we're going to be fitting the doors. We made a doors layer in the last session when we created our windows layer. But the first thing I need to do is deal with this little bit of wall that's missing. I need to make it the right size and I need to make my doorway the right size. So what I'm going to do is very quickly offset the wall that I've got here by a door width um, and we'll go for 900 millimeters and confirm that. That gives me the overall width of the doorway here. Now all I need to do is draw the walls. So I'm going to make my walls layer current by clicking on a wall and then clicking on this button here and just do a quick polyline from the corner here. There we go. Enter to stop that and we're sorted. Now I'll get rid of this line because it's going to be in the way. Before I'm going to start making doors, one thing I am going to do is switch off my construction setup layer and I'm also going to change to my doors layer. So now my current layer is doors, anything I draw will be in that layer. And the first thing we need to draw is the door lining. Door frames occur for external doors. Most internal doors have linings, not frames. My wall thickness is 100 millimeters, so I need to do another one of these set size rectangles. So it's a case of going up to the rectangle command and clicking on that. My first corner point I can put just there. And then I need to go 100 millimeters to the right and about 35 millimeters up. So I need to type at 100 comma 35 and enter and there's my door lining. I'll copy that across to the other side just like we did with our window frames and it's simply a question of making sure that what you click onto with the object snap and your door lining matches up with where you're going to click in the door and we'll finish that off with an enter. Now I just need to draw my door itself like that, enter, and an arc showing the swing of the door and that's so that you can see within the drawing how much space in that room the door swing is going to take up because you can't put furniture in that space. I could use the arc command but that starts to get quite complicated because I need to know my start and my end. I find it much simpler to use a circle so if I click on the circle the middle of that circle is going to be where the hinges are, just here, click, and the other side of the door is going to stop obviously at the other door lining. Click. If we zoom in you can see that my door is actually overhanging the circle and of course I don't need a whole circle all I need is this quarter circle. So what I'm going to do now is trim this out. I'll show you two ways you can use trim because there's an easy way and a harder way. The harder way looks easier to start with but actually it does make life more complicated. So trim is up here and it's this one here. And the command line's asking me to select the cutting edges. That's the edges it's going to cut against. Or it defaults to select all. So if I just do an enter to confirm the default, every single one of those lines is going to be a cutting line. So what that means is that to trim off this circle, I've got to trim it off in several little bits. There's an easier way to do it. So we'll undo that reopen trim and the other alternative for selecting cutting edges is that you actually choose specific cutting edges so I'm going to use this one I'm going to use circle because I need to trim off my door and I'm going to choose this door lining but not the other one because I need to trim the edge of the circle and the circle intersects with that so it will trim. Once I've selected my cutting edges I need to do return to confirm and then if you look down here it's telling me to select the objects to trim so I can go one and two. So somewhat less heavy handed than the other way. I'm going to copy this now into another doorway Now you can see that this door is too big for this opening because it's a smaller door into a utility space. So what I'm going to do is move this door lining to the correct location. I'm going to delete the arc. I'm going to shorten this off because there's an, another command I want to show you and escape that. Now I need to draw the circle again. Click, click. But my door isn't long enough. 
two ways I can deal with that. I could use the extend command, so click on extend, then it's saying select boundary edges, that's the edges that we want the thing to extend through. Then I need to confirm that that's all my boundary edges selected, and then I can click on the object to extend. Finish that, OK, going back a step, the other way I could do it would be to, to stay with the trim command, select the, the same range of cutting edges that I did before, and enter to confirm those. Then I can use shift and select, so if I hold down the shift key and select my door lining, it'll extend. If you look down here it says select object to trim or shift select to extend. Then all I need to do is just finish trimming my door. So now I've got two doors of different sizes. This one I can copy into the opening over here. This one I'll copy to my kitchen. And what I'm going to do is rotate that around so that it's the right way around. Move it into position. Now if you look, if I chose this point I've got nowhere particular to link it up to. I'll show you. So if I choose that point, I can't be guaranteed to get it in exactly the right place. If, on the other hand, I choose this point as my base point, I've got a point on the wall that I can attach it to. But this door is the wrong way round. So one thing I am going to need to do is swap it over. I'm going to draw myself a line across from one side of this wall to the other because I shall need a centre point. And what I'm going to do now is select those elements and use another command called mirror. It says command mirror to found, that's the, the line of the arc. And then it says specify the first point of the mirror line. I want it to mirror along the middle of this line, so if I click there, can you see the image, depending on where my mirror line goes, is where the image is going to end up. If I go straight upwards and click for the second point of my mirror line, my mirrored image has vanished. That's because I've got another option to look at, and if you look at the command line again, it says erase source objects, yes or no. Defaults to no, but actually I don't want that original door. So if I put Y for yes and then enter, bingo, it's swapped it over. Now I'll just get rid of that and I've got my door in place. If we look just here at the cupboard, I need to close that polyline, so I'm just going to drag that to meet the other one and copy this door across. And because it's going in a straight line, it goes there. And do the old circle routine again. So that's my cupboard door as well. So now I've got almost all my doors for my house, apart from my front door. Oh, and look, I've got a little gap here. Let's mend that. Just click on that, grab it, drag it, sort it. For my front door, external door frames are, are a similar size to window frames. So what I'm going to do is just copy this window frame into my door opening, setting it slightly forward. Copy that across to the other side and draw my door in exactly the same way. Line, circle, click, click, trim, get rid of those. But these two are in the wrong layer. These are in my windows layer, not my doors layer. Simplest way is to click on them, go to the design doors layer. Another thing we could do is use the match command, which is on the clipboard. So I'm going to undo that change, and I'll click on one of those so that you can see that it's now back in the windows layer. If I click on my door, we know that's in the layer that we want. Over here we've got a match properties command, or I can do match the layer. These work in reverse of each other. So if I start with the match properties, I can then click on my destination objects, that one and that one, and enter to close that. And what we'll find is that that is now in the design doors layer. Look, we can check up there. So I'll undo that again. That's now back in Windows. If I use the layer matching option, then what I need to do is choose the things that I want to change, click on that, and then click on something that's in the, in the destination layer. The two commands work 
in opposite ways to each other. That's just one to remember. The last kind of door that we're going to do is a double door at this far end. And again, I'm going to copy my window frames because my door frames and window frames will be pretty much the same. And this is another one where I'm going to be using the mirror command. So I'll draw myself a line across here. And it's a double door outward opening. So I need another line going outwards. But I'm only going to draw one to start with. I'll do my circle again in the usual way, but it's going to stop in the middle of this. See it's snapping to the midpoint? Click. Trim as usual, that one. We're not going to be trimming to a frame, we're going to trim to this line here. Enter to confirm that selection and click. Click to get rid of the trimmed elements. Now what I can do is mirror this first point of mirror line midpoint, heading upwards. And this time we want to keep our source objects because we need both of those doors. So no is the right setting. We go for the default setting and just do enter. Delete that. And then we need to change these two because they were copies of a window layer. We need to change them into the correct layer, which is our doors layer. So if I do a Z for zoom and E for extents, you can see the whole of our house now it's starting to look like a proper architectural drawing with all its doors and its windows and everything like that. Thanks for your time.